Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Creative Chica aka Tony and today I made a video of how I take care of my chickens, how I clean their coop, how I feed them, and how I take care of their rats. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, stay tuned. Good morning everybody. So I don't know. I was out here I was thinking, huh, I should do a little video of me feeding my chickens. And maybe even cleaning the poop out. Look at them, they're ready. See that right there? That is part of our pool. That used to be our pool that my husband is going to use as a tarp, but cut large holes in it <laughs> so it doesn't sink down. But anyway, I didn't I don't know if I told y'all about the trampoline here. He had taken down the pool and he put that piece in the middle of the trampoline well that evening it started raining really hard so he stopped the next morning I came out that trampoline was a pond it was hanging clear down almost to the dirt right there I was fixing to go shopping I had to put everything on hold and I started getting a bucket and I started um, dumping it out now that was scary but my husband you know he made a little boo-boo but uh, he won't do that again but because it kind of runs downhill, that helped me a lot because I was pushing down on the trampoline and it all, all the water uh, flowed downhill. That was a little bit scary. So anyway, see the chickens? They're ready to be fed this morning. And I hear a, I hear a crow or something. Anyhow, so I wanted to show y'all, um, I just painted that lid right there. Or a little container. I got them some scraps here. I got them some cabbage and some apples also and some bread. And I'm fixing I'm gonna clean the poop out there. But in here, this is where we keep our feed. This is the scratch feed here. So it just has, you know, corn and sunflower seeds and stuff like that. It also has um, some oyster shell in there. So that's what we feed them as far as the scratch goes and then here is the food and um, it's starting to get low but we use up all that and then we have that bag of feed over there to throw in here so I'm going to get them like a half a scoop of feed like that and hang on and I'm going to pour it in here my husband I swear I love him but sometimes he'll say the chickens don't need that much food I, he said you're feeding the rats I said look I said they need some food because we don't keep it out there all the time because of the rat problem so he feeds them very little so whenever I come out they're happy to see me that's all I got to say <laughs> okay and so we do give them popcorn as a little snack in the evenings it's probably not that good for them because of all the salt, but my, my, my husband says it's not going to hurt them. It's not going to hurt them. So because I'm giving them some bread and stuff like that, I'm not filling this up to the top here. So I also got to check on the rat traps this morning. And yes, Chica does take the dead rats out. Of the traps, and I throw them over the fence. Yeah, that's how I roll, y'all. That's how I roll. Okay. Hang on. Um, let me take this out here. And set that there. And then get this. Okay. First of all, let me take this food out here. But since I only have, like, one hand, I got to make a couple of trips. Hi, girls. I still got some chickens that are broody, and whenever I say broody, that means they're sit they're sitting on the nest, and they won't get up. They want to they want to be a mama, but it's impossible. There's no roosters, so yeah, we gave all our roosters away. So because we really didn't want to have no babies. Now one day, you know, we may decide to to buy some babies. I don't know. But um, so far we have 14 chickens left right now. At one time we had 22, 
course, three of them passed away. And, and then some we gave, the roosters we gave away. One we sold. A couple of them we sold. And um, the other ones, yeah, we, we sold most of them, actually. And then I think two we gave away. So, anyway, let's try to do this with one hand. This is not the easiest thing to do, y'all. Yesterday I was throwing out the trash. I accidentally dropped it out there by the trash because it's so tiny. But we have several keys for this. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I know y'all talking to me this morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, hang on. Hang on, people. Hang on. All right. Back up, girls. Back up. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Okay. If my finger gets in the way, sorry. Okay, girls. You ready for breakfast? So I usually, like, feed them. Like, yeah, I try to throw some over because they want to, like, fight with each other sometimes over the feed. I don't like that. So, there you go, girl. Okay. So, I got that. Whoa! Um, over there is our rat trap. I don't think there's any rats in there. Oh, okay. Hi, Elsa. Hi, Elsa. So, this is like one of our rat traps here. And they work really, really well, guys. But I think... I think, actually, I need to put some fresh stuff in there. Yep, yep. Hi, girls. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. All right. I go from one pin to the other. I got them separated, guys, because we have the big ones over here, and then we have little ones over here, but then we had mixed... The little ones with a couple big ones, and they're used to each other, so they don't fight. That's why we do that. Okay. Get the, oh, my goodness. Raven, back up, girl. Back up. Back, 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 back. Back. Here, I got some food for you. Okay. Let me get the little ones out of their broody nest. Okay, and then see we have rat traps here. There's nothing in there, but I really do think I need to put some fresh bait in there because mice and stuff get in there and eat all that stuff. Girls, come on. Look at these two. What in the heck is going on here? Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go eat breakfast. Go. Come eat breakfast, princess. Come eat breakfast. Okay, here we go. Chiquita, are you lame or are you broody? Come on, you want to eat breakfast? Come on, my pretty girl. Come on, my little pretty girl. My little silky girl. All right, go eat. All right, you see all that mess there? I got to clean all this out. I got to clean it out. And I'm going to take this rat trap out. And I'm going to put some fresh bait in there. And I'm going to give them their goodies. So hang on. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, <laughs> I just gave them their um, scraps, a few scraps. We gotta take this box inside because we're having a yard sale in October. We have a couple of them actually. My husband's taking the week off, so that's what we're gonna do. He has three weeks left this year, so. All right, so now I'm going to go into the big pen, and I'm going to clean out the poop. Now, i tell you what. We found out using sand in the coop instead of the shreds is actually a better idea. Uh, it's easier to clean. The chickens don't mind. And as you can see, this one needs cleaned out really bad. It's been a couple of days. Over here. Oh, gosh. Okay. You see that right there? That's water, I think. I don't know. Well, we gotta replace it anyway. We're gonna replace this tarp here. But that's just leaves and stuff, and then water collects on there. But anyway, um, this is another rat trap. There's none in here, but I'm gonna 
reset them. And I gotta be really careful about resetting them or I'm gonna snap my finger off. Those things are ugh. So this is rather disgusting. There's poop out here. Um ew. One of them brought up a piece of cabbage all the way up or unless it was a rat. I don't know. But I'm going to throw that out there. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we put fake eggs in here. So, um, they'll lay their eggs there. So, I'm going to let that air out a little bit. So, I'm going to check their water. Oh, gosh. Their water is looking really bad. So, i got to replace that. There's a lot to do out here. Okay, so as you can see up here, there's no there's no um, tarps or anything, so we got to replace that. We might be doing that this weekend. I don't know, but they need shade. They need a lot of shade out here, even though it is under trees and stuff. But it is what it is. So what I do is I have my little rake here, and you see the sand in here. My husband actually built this coop for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's a very good carpenter, and so are our sons, so at least they got, they got that good thing, good quality uh, from their daddy. So anyway, so what I do is I come over here and I start scraping the poop towards me. <laughs> Love it. Okay, it doesn't take very long, but, um, you know, it's very important to clean the poop out. And, um, you know, because if not, you're going to get a lot of flies. And just more rats and, you know, all that good stuff. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and scoop this up. Well, let me show you what I do, and then I'll finish the little job here. But, um, I tell you, this sand idea is really good because I can use these kitty scoopers. Kitty, kitty poop scoopers. I bought these from Walmart. I bought two of them. I think they were $10 each, but I don't know. But they are excellent. Excellent! Okay, so I start scooping and shaking. See? And honestly, none of this goes to waste because I put it on my plants. This chicken poop is pure gold, y'all. I'm not kidding. I don't even buy fertilizer for my my uh, plants by my house. Nope. I sure don't. So let me get this done. And I'll go over to the next nest, okay? Or I'll do the water next, okay? Okay, y'all. So that's pretty decent right there. Good enough. Good enough. Got all the big stuff out. So this is their waterer. Um, we use these plastic waterers. Um, the red stuff is like from um, the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar. So what I'm going to do here, look at, look at her over there. She loves that apple. <laughs> that's so cute. I, I was going to put that cabbage on there, but they'll eat that cabbage later. But anyway, so I'm going to dump this water out. And then I've got, well, I did have some dishwashing detergent, but that's okay. So I'm just going to spray some of this in there. And I'll spray a little bit of water in there. I did have some dawn out here, but I don't know. It's out here somewhere. Then I got my little scrubby, and I just scrub it. And then I just get all this out. It's just the vinegar. I don't know why it turns red like that. But, but the vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, is good for the chickens. I think it's good for worms and stuff, you know keeps them healthy just like apple cider vinegar is good for us okay so okay so um i'm going to rinse this out and i'll start filling it up so hang on okay well i cleaned it out pretty good it's not perfect but what the heck so i'm going to fill this up So I'm going to add some of the apple cider vinegar 
in here. Oh, this is hard to do. Whoa. So I just put a little bit in there. Okay. Now. Fill it up. So I'm going to get this all filled up and then I'll go over there to the next tube and turn that tube out. I've got to do the rat traps and stuff. We haven't caught any rats lately, and it's probably because the mice have been in there, you know, eating their feet. So, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah, well, no, I'll be right back, actually. <laughs> okay, so now I'm heading over to the next side. And they're still eating. Of course, the broody girls went back in. Hi, Raven. Okay, now, look at these girls. Goodness knows, now i got three broody girls. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to kind of like pick this up with my gloved hand, y'all. But um, it's not too, too bad. I just, oh, there's a big old, somebody's been over here pooping a big old butt. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh, girls. You pretty girls. Aren't you? Huh? Yeah, mama's got to clean this out. Okay. We just want to get the poop out. That's all. Okay. And then you're all sitting on the nest and it's hard for me to get underneath you. So, can y'all get up so I can see if there's poop under here? Oh, come on. I know. I know. I mess with you enough. I know. Okay, okay, you're good, you're good, you're good. Sorry. Okay. So, let me check their water over here. There's Raven. <laughs> Hi, Raven! <laughs> okay, so their water is a little bit low over here. So, I'll just, like, add some more to it. Alrighty. use as much water as the big chickens do, so it's all good. Just uh, add a little bit more, and I think that's enough for you ladies. Uh, oh, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, it's alright. See, I see some flies out here. I don't like flies. That's why I don't like give them a lot of scraps. I just give them like the fresh vegetables. And um, yeah, it's just the flies will come. And flies are not good for the chickens. And neither are mosquitoes. Which, we had a problem with mosquitoes last year. But as you can see, we have a fan up here. The fan blows all the time. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's been doing that for a long, long time. And now it's a little bit dusty, as you can see. That's okay. But it's still running. And if this one conks out, we'll just buy another small desk fan. And uh, what it is is that we used to come here. Uh, one time we came back from vacation. And I, I came in here to check the, the chickens real quick. Um, there was mosquitoes all over them. And I really feel like, you know, Billy Idol, I think that's what might have killed him, the mosquitoes. They were all over the wall. Like during the day, they would be all over the wall there. So now, we don't have that problem anymore because the air is constantly blowing on them. It, the mosquitoes, they get distracted by the wind. So if they don't have an object that they can, you know, center into, then they can't bite them. So, you know, I looked this up on YouTube, I believe. So this is like, instead of using pesticides and all that good stuff, use a fan and build you a little shelf up there. Um... Whenever my husband and I, we first had chickens when the boys were younger, we had a, a different coop. My husband actually built in a fan in the coop, but what he did, he did not do, was put a safeguard on it because, you know, it was kind of high, but the turkeys would get up there and their tail feathers would get caught in it. And I said, oh my gosh, 
put a put a shield on that baby <laughs> so anyway but um so now uh i'm done here cleaning I've got their water they're fed and now i need to reset all the rat traps no me so i want to show y'all i did a video because uh, on the rat traps because i'm telling you we had so many rats out here at night time they were having a party I'm not kidding. So, um, I bought these containers from Dollar General. They work perfect, okay? As you can see, the rat traps, they're already, like, um, they need to be reset. These things will take a finger off. I'm not kidding. They're, they're like, whew. So, make sure, if you buy these, that uh, whenever you go to pick them up, that they look like that. And that part's not open, because, I mean, I am not kidding. This is not good, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to leave that one there. This one here, and I will show you. And there is some feed in here. But, um, see the feed? But, um, so I tell you how, what I do is I do this. <laughs> Whoa, see? That'll take a finger off, baby. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Fun times. Now, I tell you. Okay, I don't like rats. Janae's rats, I like her rats. They're cute rats. They're, you know, they're social rats. These rats are nasty varmints, okay? And um, they will spread diseases to my chickens. So, that's why we catch the rats. I'm not afraid to take a rat out of there. What I do is I pick it up and I drop it on the ground. I take the tail and I pitch it over the fence there. Okay, because we have a lot of stray cats around here. And the stray cats are eating good in the neighborhood. That's all I can say. Okay, so, all right, we got that leg going there. This one here, okay. See, I got three. I got three. Um, yeah, it's high time that I redid this. So, let's do this again. Oh, whoops. Woo, mama. Oh, God, that could have got my toe. All right. All right, there we go. We got the rat traps up here. See those jaws? Those are the jaws of death. Okay, guys. Okay, make sure that <laughs> these things scare me. I'm not kidding. Um, you can buy these at the tractor supply. They're not real expensive either, but they I tell you what, they do the job. If you've got a rat problem, do not use poison. You can't use that around your chickens. Don't do that. Okay? So this stuff here, ugh. I don't even know what to do with it. Okay, let me go ahead and get this all cleaned up, and then I'll show you what I do. Okay, y'all. So I just pulled a bucket of weeds. I I went out here the other day, and I trimmed my rose bush and everything, and I got ants all over me, and it was a disaster. My husband said, don't do that. I said, somebody's got to do this. You know, I don't like weeds everywhere, but I still have a bunch of weeds to do. Anyway, let's get back to the rat. Okay, rats. <laughs> Oh, rats. <laughs> so anyway, so what I do is I take this and then I, okay, it's ready to go, okay? So place it in your container very carefully. Okay, these containers have holes, okay? That's why I have lids on them. They have, my husband drew holes in them, see? Three holes. Big enough for a rat to get in. Rats can squeeze in to some tight places. Okay, so let's set this one. Oh, these things are scary. Yikes. Okay. Let me get this one. Okay, this one, this shorter one, it goes into the coop and still has some seed in it, but I'm going to put some more seed in it. I put two each. Sometimes, I know, it's not good, guys. I mean, it's kind of sad, but sometimes these traps get one mouse or rat. I mean, it traps it twice, so... Um, there has been times where the, the rat was still alive and I had to put it out of its misery or my son did. So, I mean, you know, I'm not about being cruel, okay? No way. Um, I love animals, but I do not love the rats. Okay. One more to go. Okay. All right. Now, oh, so I'm putting some fresh scratch in there because they love this scratch, y'all. So... What I'm doing is I'm just going to pour it in the hole there. 
and then they can have some lunch their last dinner okay so you don't need a whole lot just enough to attract them see and then okay that's all I'm doing okay now all I do now is just put the list back on and put them in the uh, back in the coop. So, and the good thing about these is they're rainproof also, but it's just an easy, easy peasy way to do it. I think I saw it on uh, YouTube. A guy did it, but I don't know if he did it exactly like this. But I said, hey, there is our solution because, you know, my husband he was thinking about. Um, coming out here you know after the chickens are put up and you know we have to like lock them up in their pen or lock them up in their coop and then set traps I said no that's too much there's got to be a better way and this is the best way ever I don't even know how many rats we've caught I don't know we've caught some big fat ones I tell you they've been out here eating good in the neighborhood okay let's see let me um, get back, girl. She's, she's wanting to come in out. No, it's too early for you to come out, girl. Okay, guys. All right, back up. Back up, Miss Prissy. She is our first hen we ever got. We actually rescued her from the neighbors. Oh, gosh. I got to close that. Because um, they have... Ooh. This piece has got to go back. You, you want them to set them back so your chickens don't stick their beak in there and get, get it caught. Now, I've been having great luck over here, but I'm going to change um, situations here. And I'm going to set this here like that. Okay, let's see if we catch any there. Okay, so, yes, I re-rescued her. Um, there was two roosters with her and two other hens, and the one of the rooster was killed by an owl, we believe, because we heard it that morning. And then the other two hens were blown away, so we kept the other two, and we told her, we got your, your, uh, them over here, and we're taking care of them and feeding them. She said, that's fine. She said, just let them out, you know, and I, we, you know, and we do. We let them out in the afternoons after they've laid their eggs and stuff. So, let's get this small one. I put this in the coop because we do get rats in the coop and I don't like that. I mean, even though, even though the, uh, they're up on a, um, and I'll show you, hang on, but, um, and this looks nasty. I don't know if that's poop. I don't know, but it's been like raining and stuff. So anyway, let me set that in here. That really needs to be washed off. But I'm afraid of getting this wet, so I'm just going to leave it. It's cool, it's cool. Okay. So, um, let me see if we can... I have hit my head on that countless times, guys. And it's just there for decoration. It's supposed to be a solar power and lights up. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, so see up here, we got the, uh, their, um, what do you call those things? Anyway, that's where they perch. The um, roosting bars or whatever you want to call them. So yeah. So okay. So now I'm going to go over to the next one, and then I'll be done out here. Yep. I'm done. Then I get to go on to bigger and better things, <laughs> like washing clothes. Okay. Let's um. All right. Let me bring this here. Coming through, coming through, girls. You can't go out yet. Nope. There's hawks out there looking for breakfast. Okay, I have not been catching any lately here. I mean, that is a good spot. But um, what I think I might do is put it over here behind the waterer. And what are you doing in there, girl? She's taking her a dust bath. Look at her. She's getting her a dust bath. Yeah. Okay, so let's just set this over here. I got a couple bricks here. 
So we just set that there and leave it. There's a trap back there. So whenever we had problems with the raccoons, we used to trap them and release them out, way out in the country. Yep. I mean, you know, they're animals too, but they will eat my chickens. So, so I'm done out here. This is like, um, I don't do this every morning. I don't. Um, I come out here and feed them, and that's about it. I do clean their stalls every couple of days or so. Um, you know, replenish everything, check their water and all that good stuff. And, um, but yeah, I don't do this every day. But I said, well, since I'm doing it today, I figure I would share with y'all what I do on a typical morning of feeding, cleaning, watering, taking care of the rat traps and all that good stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It might be a little bit long, but that's okay. And I uh, appreciate everybody for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I will catch y'all on my next video. Bye, guys, and have a wonderful day. See you later.